Hey, what is up guys? My name is Daniel and today I have an Intel Nvidia $850 build. Um, if you're looking for a general $850 build, I wouldn't really recommend Intel Nvidia. I'd say Intel, uh, maybe not Nvidia, but Intel especially is mainly for the $1000 and up builds. I really don't anything below that, you know, like 750, 850, anywhere in that range, um, even budget builds, I pretty much always go with AMD uh, if I'm trying to get the best value. But for this, I actually got requested to do uh, an Intel NVIDIA build. I think the guy who was using this build wanted to build it uh, to be a Steam machine. Also, I asked him if he wanted it to be mini ITX, and he said no, um, because there's no point, it just makes it super hot and hard to work with, which is totally true. So, I mean, eh. So this is just, I wouldn't really say that this is the best value you can get for 850. Um, but yeah, if you do want 850 or anywhere in that price range, Intel NVIDIA build, this is what you go for. So anyways, let's get into the build. Uh, for the CPU, I went with the Intel Core i5 3570K 3.4 gigahertz quad core processor. This is $200 and currently comes with a Final Fantasy some number that's in Roman numerals. I can't be bothered to read it. I'm pretty sure it's the newest one. <laughs> um, it's 14, apparently. Just read that out. Um, but yeah, Final Fantasy 14. Um, never played it. Never really been into Final Fantasy. But anyways, that's that. For the CPU cooler, I'm with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo um, sleeve-bearing CPU cooler. And actually, guys, if you really want, you could push that Core i5 3570K up to a 4770K, not 4770K, uh, 4670K, I should say, and buy it off of uh, NCIX. I believe it's on most sites as well. All I've seen it advertised for is on NCIX, though. Um, on NCIX, if you buy a 4670K, you can get Rome Total War 2. So if you want that instead of Final Fantasy 14, you can go get that. But personally, I like the CPU more just because it's easier to overclock. And yeah. So for the CPU cooler, as I said, I went with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler. Right now, this is $29.98, as it has been pretty much like forever, because it has a $5 mail-in rebate. And I know people that have pushed this exact CPU with this exact cooler uh, from 3.4 gigahertz all the way to 4.5. I wouldn't really go to 4.5, as it's not that safe. I'd probably go to 4 or 4.2, and you'd be totally safe there. And basically, as soon as you get the CPU, you're going to have to run a few tests once you start OCing, obviously. But um, you could totally do 4 or 4.2 with this CPU cooler. For the motherboard, I want the Asus P8Z77V LK ATX LGA1155 motherboard. Right now, this has a $15 mail-in rebate and is $105. Great motherboard. Asus makes quality motherboards, uh, especially on the... Well, I was going to say especially on the Intel side, but really... They make some of my favorite motherboards on AMD or Intel, uh, and they're in all price ranges, you know, everything like that. So yeah, not much I could say here. It's a fully featured ATX motherboard, not much more. Uh, for the memory, I went with the G-Skill Ripjaws X series, 8 gigabytes, which is two sticks of 4 gigabytes, DDR3 1866 MHz memory, and uh, I just now realized that this memory actually doesn't have a mail-in rebate on it anymore. I don't know if it was a mail-in rebate, it might have just been a sale, but this memory, it's 8 gigabytes of 1866 MHz DDR3 memory, and it was actually on sale for like 60 bucks a while back, which is awesome compared to what uh, RAM prices are nowadays usually. So that deal's not going on anymore, but still, this is very good quality RAM, um, especially for the price. It's 1866 MHz, which is awesome. So, um, the only game I really know that gets a huge performance increase from that is Battlefield 4. But anyways, moving on to the storage, I went with the Western Digital Caviar Blue, one terabyte. Oh, look, I'm getting texts. Uh, 7,200 RPM internal hard drive. Right now, this has a $5 mail-in rebate, which makes it $60. Not much more you could say here. It's a one terabyte uh, Caviar Blue, so not too fast, not too slow, not too unreliable or reliable. <sighs> Just your standard drive, really. For the video card, I went with the MSI GeForce GTX 760 2GB video card. 
Right now, this has a $10 mail-in rebate and is $250. 760s are great cards. Honestly, if you have more money, I'd move up to a 770, possibly from EVGA. I have that card, and it is amazing. Uh, runs everything. I throw at it perfectly. And, yeah, the whole 700 series, as far as I've seen, is a great lineup. Um, some of AMD's... R9 and R7 series isn't all that good. I love their 270Xs and 270s and 280Xs and all that stuff. Uh, but, you know, their budget end um, R7 series isn't all that great. And that's kind of what I look for in AMD. So I, I find myself going back to stuff like the 7770 a lot. But anyways, uh, moving on to the case. I decided to change it up a bit and I went for a Fractal Design Arc MIDI R2 ATX Mid-Tower case. This is $80 and a great quality case for not that much money. Uh, this is a little bit cheaper than the Fractal Design Define R4, and it is a great case. Pretty much same quality, I'd say. So yeah, not much I could say there. For the power supply, I'm with the Corsair CX600M, which is a 600-watt, 80-plus bronze-certified semi-modular power supply. So although it is only 80 plus bronze, um, it is semi-modular, and it's usually $70, but it has a $20 mail-in rebate right now, making it $50. Stop texting me, people. Christ. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, a $70 power supply with a $20 mail-in rebate, that's pretty awesome. So there's really not much you can get better for that, and honestly, I think for... Most graphics cards, all you really need is 600 watts, even though they don't use that. Um, most graphics cards and most PC components require 600 to run. Uh, most mid to high end ones. Um, I know my 770 that I said that I have only needs 600, and most of the time my entire build only uses about 450, 500. So, I mean, yeah. After everything, this build is $856.96 and is a pretty good build. So yeah, uh, if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe if you are new here. I post content daily. Thanks for watching and peace.